In 2000, President Bill Clinton signed a bill granting China permanent normal trade relations with the United States. During the signing ceremony, he commented on the Internet's potential to promote political freedom in China. He said, The Internet has already proven to be a powerful tool for advancing political and economic freedom. And over time, it will prove to be a powerful tool for advancing democracy as well. As it turns out, he was wrong. While China's internet was created in a similar way to the internet in other countries, the Chinese government has played a significant role in shaping the development of the internet in the country. Their approach to internet development has been characterized by a combination of investment in infrastructure, regulation, and censorship. Simply put, they have created their own version of the internet that continues to grow and adapt under strict regulations. The earlier days of China's internet were characterized by a sense of openness and experimentation, with a growing community of internet users eager to explore this new form of communication and information exchange. In the mid-1990s, the Chinese government began investing heavily in the development of the internet, with a particular focus on education and research. This led to the establishment of a number of universities and research institutes that were at the forefront of internet development in China. During this period, the internet was largely unregulated and uncensored, and users were free to explore a wide range of websites and online services. The first online forums and chat rooms emerged, providing a space for users to discuss a wide range of topics and connect with people from all over the country. However, this sense of openness and experimentation began to change as the government became more concerned about the potential for political dissent and social instability. To address these concerns, the government established a system of internet censorship, which has become known as the Great Firewall of China. This system is designed to block access to websites and online services that are deemed politically sensitive or that promote views contrary to the government's ideology. The government also monitors online activity and requires internet service providers to collect user data and censor content that is deemed objectionable. In addition to censorship and surveillance, the government has also encouraged the development of domestic tech companies that can compete with global giants such as Google and Facebook. This has led to the emergence of innovative Chinese tech companies such as Alibaba, Tencent, and Huawei, which have developed their own platforms and services that are tailored to the Chinese market and subject to government regulation. And then came along Jinping's cyber sovereignty, which refers to the concept of internet governance that has been promoted by Chinese President Xi Jinping. The idea is based on the principle that each country has the right to govern the internet within its own borders and that internet governance should be guided by national laws, regulations, and cultural values. Under this concept, China has developed a system of internet regulation and censorship that is designed to promote what it sees as healthy online discourse and prevent the spread of harmful or politically sensitive information. This system is implemented through the Great Firewall of China, which blocks access to a wide range of foreign websites and online services that are deemed politically sensitive or that promote views contrary to the government's ideology. China's own internet has been expanding rapidly in recent years and is increasingly becoming a major force in global technology markets. There are a number of ways in which China's internet is taking over other countries. First off, their Chinese tech companies have been investing heavily in foreign markets, both by acquiring local companies and by investing in startups and other ventures. This has allowed them to gain a foothold in key markets such as Southeast Asia, Africa, and Latin America. Additionally, these companies are also involved in building internet infrastructure in other countries, including undersea cables, satellite networks, and mobile networks. This gives China greater control over the flow of information in these countries and allows Chinese tech companies to provide services directly to consumers. Lastly, China is also working to promote its own technology standards and protocols, which could help to shape the future of the Internet. This includes the development of the 6G wireless standard, as well as efforts to promote Chinese language search engines and other online services. The future of the Chinese Internet is likely to be shaped by a number of ongoing trends and developments, including technological innovation, regulatory changes, and geopolitical tensions. 
At the same time, the Chinese government is likely to continue its efforts to regulate and control the internet, particularly with regard to issues of political stability and social control. This may involve the further development of the Great Firewall of China, as well as tighter restrictions on online speech and activity. In addition, there are likely to be ongoing tensions between China and other countries over issues of cybersecurity and information warfare. These tensions may lead to further restrictions on cross-border data flows, as well as increased efforts to develop domestic alternatives to foreign tech products and services.